By the end of this video, you're going to know whether you have a sprain or a misalignment of the sternoclavicular joint. This is a rare sprain, but it does happen, and very often with chronic shoulder problems, I find that the sternoclavicular joint is the thing that no one looks for, but sometimes it's the secret to getting people's shoulders to feel better. What you do is you have to take your shirt off, look at these bumps right here below your throat. So if you take your finger and you push in the, in the soft spot of your throat, the bones are right to the side. And what you'll do is you'll take your fingertips and place them on the actual bones themselves and make sure that they're level. That's clue number one, you've sprained your, your sternoclavicular joint. Number two, very often the joint will be tender to the touch. So when you touch it, it'll actually feel like a little bit of a bogginess or swelling. Last test that I do, and this is very difficult to do at home, motion palpation. And what we do is there's two methods of doing it. We can grab the sternoclavicular joint and push it down and up and see if it has good motion. The bone should actually move like this. The second way, and I like to do it this way, is to place my finger on the joint, have the patient raise their arm, and the sternoclavicular joint, the clavicle, will actually go down and rotate. It'll go down and rotate, and you can actually feel that motion. So when there's lack of motion there, very often, other areas will try to compensate and make up the slack. So very often when a person has a shoulder problem, they have AC joint problems, and it's not resolving with normal type of uh, therapies, what we'll find is the person has an old injury to their sternoclavicular joint, and how we know that is when they raise their arm, the bone doesn't go down and it doesn't rotate. So the adjustment, the chiropractic adjustment, is to recreate that motion. So we'll adjust it down and rotate it, and very often the person will get a full range of motion of their shoulder. But that's how you know if you've had a sternoclavicular joint. It's very common, I see it a lot in my practice because I see a lot of cyclists, and cyclists, they, they fall in one of two ways. They either fall with their arm outstretched, if they can do that, or very often they'll fall and hit their shoulder like this. If they don't break their collarbone, they're lucky, but sometimes they'll actually sprain the sternoclavicular joint. It also happens with, uh, there's a local high school here, and I treat a lot of high school athletes. Kids will fall on their shoulder, uh, they'll be do wrestling. Swimmers get it as well from repetitive motion. Let me know what your comments are. If you've ever had a sternoclavicular joint sprain, let me know how you resolved it, what worked for you. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and down below there's a link for a Patreon. And if you become a Patreon, you can ask me individual questions and I'll make videos just for you.